Queen Nerissa appears in disguise as an old hag and tricks Princess Giselle into biting a poisoned apple by promising her to forget all memories in New York City. Driven by a desire to erase her feelings for Robert, Giselle decides to take the apple, leading to her falling into a deep sleep. Will Giselle wake up from her dream on time, or will she die like the evil queen planned? Join us in the full recap video of Enchanted to discover the answers to these questions and travel with Giselle through realms. For more extraordinary tales filled with betrayal, adventure, action, and love, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. Done? Let's get started! The film begins with a book opening into a new world. We see an animated sequence in the magical kingdom of Andalasia. It is here we are introduced to Giselle, her animal friends, and the dashing Prince Edward. Giselle is the film's protagonist and embodies the classic Disney princess traits. She is kind, gentle, and naive, with an unwavering belief in true love and happily ever after. Giselle's animated exuberance, singing, and her ability to communicate with animals reflect her innocent and idealistic nature. In this initial sequence, Giselle passionately crafts her ideal prince from various materials, shaping him as the embodiment of the perfect love with whom she'll share a true love's kiss. Her melodious song doesn't focus on a specific person she hasn't met yet, but rather on the emotions associated with his future encounter. Shortly afterward, Giselle's perfect prince materializes while engaged in a troll-chasing adventure. He triumphs over the troll, but promptly reveals his yearning for something more in life. Disenchanted with frivolous games, his deepest desire is to experience the transformative power of a true love's kiss. This early encounter sets the stage for the film's exploration of love and enchantment. As these two characters collide, their desires and aspirations converging in a tale of fantasy and romance. Prince Edward is Giselle's true love and is the archetypal Disney prince. He is brave, chivalrous, and is well-intentioned but often oblivious to the real-world challenges. Edward's impulsive nature and his unwavering pursuit of Giselle highlight his prince-like qualities. The troll soon frees himself and goes after Giselle. Testament of a true fairy tale, it all ends well when the troll is easily defeated and the damsel falls into the prince's arms. Prince Edward proposes to Giselle and they decide to marry the next day. However, the evil queen Nerissa is determined to keep her throne and schemes to get rid of Giselle. The queen disguises herself as an old woman as Giselle, in a wedding dress, goes to marry. She brings her to a magical well with the promise of a wish. Nerissa pushes Giselle down the well that leads to the real world, a place where there are no happily ever afters, according to Nerissa. Giselle's unexpected fall through the well transports her into the vibrant heart of New York City, marking a dramatic shift in the film's visual style. She emerges from a sewer as a flesh-and-blood person, drawing perplexed glances from the onlookers, who are equally baffled by her presence. Overwhelmed by the urban chaos surrounding her, Giselle struggles to make sense of the gritty streets and bewildering sights of the city. Her interactions with the city's diverse residents and even animals reflect the collective confusion in this unfamiliar environment. Her landing in a bustling part of the city exposes her to the frenetic rush of crowds, pulling her in different directions and eventually leading her to the subway, which takes her to yet another area. In her quest to find a castle, specifically Prince Edward's castle, Giselle encounters a homeless man who callously steals her tiara when she approaches him with a simple request for kindness. This encounter adds a layer of challenge to Giselle's already daunting adjustment to the starkly different world of New York City. In the next sequence, we are introduced to a new character, Robert Phillip. Robert is a divorce lawyer and single father who is initially portrayed as a skeptic of Giselle's fairy tale beliefs. He is practical, logical, and has a no-nonsense attitude. Robert's personality serves as a stark contrast to Giselle's animated charm and enthusiasm. He is currently battling a divorce case. Through her assistant, the movie tells us that Robert is engaged and has a daughter. His beliefs on romance seem to be mostly practical and non-romantic, according to him at least. On the car ride home, he is with Morgan, his daughter. It is then that he decides to tell her about his marriage with Nancy. Morgan is open-minded, curious, and quickly forms a bond with Giselle. Morgan's childlike innocence and willingness to accept Giselle's fairy tale beliefs play a significant role in the story. Nearby, Giselle encounters a billboard of a castle, and she quickly assumes that it's the place she has been looking for. She climbs on the steps and starts knocking. The taxi where the Phillips are just happened to pass by. Robert heroically manages to catch Giselle as she falls from the billboard. 
Giselle is taken in by Robert and Morgan, who assume she is a delusional amnesiac. Giselle's animated exuberance and belief in happily ever after both amuse and perplex Robert while she retells her story. Morgan, on the other hand, appears to be completely captivated. Despite their initial reluctance to allow her to stay and their desire to send her on her way, a series of events, including Morgan's insistence and a growing sense of compassion in Robert, lead to a change of heart. After some deliberation, Robert decides to grant her permission to spend the night, allowing her to get some rest in their apartment. The very next day, Edward bravely jumps into the well with the squirrel's company, all to save Giselle. This talkative squirrel provides comedic relief throughout the film. It has a special bond with Giselle and contrasts the enchanted world of Andalasia with the reality of New York City. The squirrel's role adds a whimsical and humorous element to the story, highlighting the film's playful approach to traditional fairy tale trope. Upon waking up in Robert's apartment, Giselle is taken aback by the messiness of the place, which starkly contrasts with her pristine home in Andalasia. In her determination to rectify the situation, she employs a magical call for her animal friends to assist her with cleaning. However, the response she receives in the form of New York City creatures, such as pigeons and rats, is quite different from the friendly deer and bunnies she's accustomed to. Nevertheless, all the animals, regardless of their origin, eagerly join forces to help her tackle the cleaning tasks. In Enchanted, the constant singing is a recurring theme that contrasts the traditional musical world of Andalasia with the real-world setting of New York City. Characters in the animated fairy tale world spontaneously break into song and dance, a hallmark of Disney animated films. When the protagonist, Giselle, is transported to the real world, her musical tendencies disrupt the lives of New Yorkers, creating humor and highlighting the clash between fairy tale idealism and everyday pragmatism. The use of music underscores the film's theme of transformation through love and fantasy, making Enchanted a whimsical and lighthearted romantic comedy. Going back to the film, when Morgan wakes, she is startled by the presence of animals in the apartment, which prompts her to alert her father, Robert. Together, they work on removing the animals, both bewildered by the situation. During this commotion, Giselle finishes taking a shower. To further complicate matters, Nancy, Robert's fiance, unexpectedly arrives at the apartment. In a classic comedic misunderstanding, Nancy misinterprets the situation and believes she stumbled upon an intimate moment between Robert and Giselle. This leads to a heated argument, and despite Robert's attempts to explain, Nancy leaves the apartment in frustration and without hearing his side of the story. Nancy is Robert's girlfriend at the beginning of the film. She is portrayed as practical and career-oriented, but she is also compassionate and understanding. Her character evolves as she realizes where Robert's heart truly lies. To win her back, Giselle proposes to him to sing to her, all in order to tell her his feelings. A central theme is the concept of true love and the pursuit of happily ever after. Giselle's unwavering belief in love at first sight and Prince Edward's pursuit of Giselle reflect traditional fairy tale notions of romance. The film explores how these ideals are tested in the real world. In the subsequent scene, Queen Nerissa dispatches her bumbling henchman Nathaniel to eliminate Giselle in the unfamiliar surroundings of New York City. Nathaniel stumbles upon Prince Edward and his companion Pip. Nathaniel pretends to be cooperative, but his true intentions are far from noble. The Queen has promised Nathaniel a false happily ever after, while entrusting him with a sinister task, poisoning Giselle using enchanted apples that will plunge her into a deep, eternal slumber. As Nathaniel embarks on his dubious mission, Pip desperately tries to warn the oblivious Prince Edward about the impending danger. Meanwhile, Robert decides to take Giselle to his workplace. The decision turns out to be less than ideal, as Giselle's presence creates a unique and amusing spectacle in the office. Her upbeat demeanor and enchanting qualities lead to a series of humorous interactions, and her unfamiliarity with the modern world creates a sense of chaos. Amid the unfolding comedy, the secretary struggles to determine Giselle's origins, despite her best efforts, adding to the general intrigue and confusion. This is where we see the clash between the idealized magical world of traditional fairy tales, Andalasia, and the complexities of the real world, New York City. It contrasts the simplicity and predictability of fairy tales with the unpredictability and challenges of everyday life. Robert, torn between the overwhelming charm of Giselle and his growing affection for her, reluctantly hands her some money, signaling that their time together has come to an end. However, his heart isn't willing to let her go. He finally decides to follow her, and as they stroll through the vibrant streets of New York City, they engage in a conversation about the nature of love. Unbeknownst to them, this is the moment when Nathaniel makes his first attempt to poison Giselle by offering her a caramel apple, a gift from Queen Nerissa. 
The attempt fortunately fails, leading to a beautifully choreographed song and dance sequence that reflects Robert and Giselle's developing connection. Giselle and Robert's magical journey continues in Central Park, where they share a romantic moment. The surroundings and passers-by seem to synchronize with Giselle's song, adding to the enchantment. Despite his initial reluctance, Robert is undeniably drawn to Giselle's spontaneity and the way she views the world. Meanwhile, Prince Edward's unwavering determination to rescue his beloved continues, and Nathaniel plots more sinister schemes to eliminate Giselle. Pip, Giselle's loyal chipmunk companion, takes it upon himself to protect her, creating a delightful subplot filled with comedic and dramatic moments. In a parallel storyline, Robert and Giselle's blossoming connection prompts Robert to reconcile with his fiancée, Nancy. Giselle's genuine and heartfelt gestures help Robert apologize and express his feelings towards his fiancée. Amidst these romantic entanglements, Robert and Giselle share a heartfelt conversation about love, shedding light on Robert's past relationship with Morgan's mother and deepening their emotional connection. Robert's relationship with his daughter, Morgan, is a central focus of the film. It explores the themes of fatherhood, the challenges of single parenting, and the importance of family bonds. The movie goes beyond only one type of love. Then, in another try to poison her, Nathaniel gives Giselle an apple martini. The attempt is only unsuccessful because of Pip's intervention. Thanks to his small friend, Giselle knows Edward is looking for her. Unfortunately, the encounter leaves Giselle thinking Pip might be dead or in a problem. Through the film, the characters from Andalasia must adapt to the unfamiliar and often harsh realities of New York City. The film highlights the challenges of adapting to a new environment and importance of flexibility in dealing with change. Thanks to these actions, Giselle appears on TV and Prince Edward follows the lead to where she might be. The search does not go well at first. In the other part of town, Robert and Giselle seem to be having a moment while she discovers new feelings. The next morning, things prove to be better, apparently so. Prince Edward finally finds Robert's apartment, despite the many times Robert believed he would not show. Finally, together, Giselle goes with Edward with the promise of a date. Now she seems to have learned some things from Robert and his world. The parting goodbyes to the family are heartbreaking to watch. Giselle has formed a friendship with Morgan and feels a little more for Robert. These relationships emphasize the significance of genuine friendships and mutual support. In a desperate attempt to maybe stay a little longer, Giselle convinces Prince Edward to go to the ball. Giselle is given a makeover by Morgan and they embark on a shopping spree. That same night, the evil queen makes her way to New York, all with the purpose of killing Giselle. Queen Nerissa is the film's primary antagonist. She is cunning, manipulative, and power-hungry. Her character embodies the classic Disney villain archetype, and she is determined to maintain her rule in Andalasia. Back at the extravagant ball, the enchantment between Giselle and Robert deepens as they share a romantic dance. Their connection defies conventional notions of love, portraying a unique bond that transcends their disparate backgrounds and worldviews. The film's underlying message challenges the traditional expectations by suggesting that love can manifest unexpectedly, transcending boundaries and preconceptions. As the enchanting evening progresses, Queen Nerissa, driven by her malevolent intentions, assumes the guise of an elderly woman to deceive Giselle. Disguised as the old hag, the queen presents Giselle with a poisoned apple, cunningly enticing her with the promise of forgetting her experiences in New York City and securing her elusive happily ever after. Overwhelmed by a desire to forget her feelings for Robert and succumbing to the queen's manipulations, Giselle takes a bite of the apple, plunging her into a deep slumber. Seizing the opportunity to capture Giselle, the queen vanishes with the slumbering maiden. However, Prince Edward arrives just in the nick of time, uncovering the malevolent scheme. Confronting the queen, he demands answers regarding Giselle's predicament. The villain attempts to downplay her sinister intentions, but it's at this critical juncture that Nathaniel, the queen's bumbling henchman, arrives on the scene. In a moment of revelation and redemption, he bravely decides to confess his complicity in the queen's wicked plans, further unraveling the malicious plot. Nathaniel serves as Queen Nerissa's henchman. Initially, he appears to be conniving and loyal to Nerissa, but his conscience and sense of morality lead to his eventual redemption. Nathaniel is portrayed as a character who changes throughout the film. Prince Edward, now aware of his evil stepmother Nerissa's sinister plan, understands that waking Giselle requires the power of a true love's kiss. As he leans in to kiss her, he is disheartened when nothing happens. It is during this moment that Nancy, perceptive and compassionate, realizes that Robert's heart belongs to Giselle, just as Giselle's heart belongs to him. 
With a gentle insistence from Nancy and Prince Edward, Robert finally takes a courageous step to kiss Giselle, prompting her to awaken from her deep slumber. Filled with rage at the turn of events, the malevolent Queen Nerissa undergoes a ghastly transformation into a fearsome dragon. She confronts Giselle, Robert, and Prince Edward, unleashing her fury upon them. In a harrowing showdown, the dragon seizes Robert and carries him to the perilous heights of a towering building. Giselle, fueled by her love for Robert and a newfound determination, follows in pursuit, turning the tables in the narrative as it becomes her turn to save Robert from the clutches of the dragon. With the help of Pip the Chipmunk, Giselle bravely faces the dragon, leading to a climactic battle in the skies above New York City. In the dramatic and thrilling climax, Queen Nerissa meets her doom, plummeting from the building to her ultimate demise. With the malevolent threat vanquished, a sense of clarity and hope prevails, paving the way for Giselle and Robert to find their happiness together. In the end, Nancy and Prince Edward decide to marry in Andalasia, now becoming two-dimensional and the future rulers of the land. Giselle opens a dressmaking shop true to her passion for fashion. Nathaniel decides to stay in the real world and write a book. Pip does something similar when he writes his version of the story back in Andalasia. Robert, Morgan, and Giselle form a close-knit family. A storybook in Giselle's home captures the adventures of the characters from both worlds, symbolizing unity and happily ever afters. The film concludes with a joyful celebration of love and harmonious coexistence. It's a reminder that love can be found in unexpected places, and that the bonds of friendship and family are as powerful as any fairy tale ending. Enchanted is a delightful and whimsical Disney film that playfully blends the world of fairy tales with the bustling streets of New York City. The movie is a delightful exploration of love, fairy tales, and the collision of two very different worlds, and it leaves viewers with the message that love can be found in the most unexpected places. Did you like Giselle's Happily Ever After? Who do you think she should have ended up with? Share your thoughts in the comments. How does this film make you feel? Write in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video for more movie summaries like this. See you in the next recap. Bye-bye!